Hey everybody, it's DJ. I uh, figured I'd do a live stream today out at Computer Reset in Dallas. Uh, sorry, a little bit overexposed here it looks like, but uh, that won't be a problem once we get inside. Um, this is a 38,000 square foot warehouse facility that was operated by a man uh, named Richard Byron, which I've had the pleasure of knowing for several years. First met him back in the early 80s whenever he ran a BBS in the DFW area that was tied to this very same computer store. And this is quite unfortunate, but Richard has fallen ill and uh, he is needing to shut down the business. And this place is a treasure trove of all kinds of old computer technology. Now, there's probably a lot of junk in here that uh, most people aren't going to be interested in, but there's a lot of treasures buried down in here too. I'll tell you, a lot of you know that I'm a big computer collector and I love retro technology of all eras, um, but uh, some of the ideas, or excuse me, some of the things that I have pulled out of this environment in the past include a DEC PDP-1170, the holy grail of DEC PDPs, um, as well as an IBM 5100, the very first portable personal computer. Uh, predates the IBM PC by, you know, almost a decade because it came out in 1975. Uh, a lot of other things inside this building are uh, probably between the 80s, 90s, early 2000s. Um, but there's quite a lot out here that, uh, you know, you, you just wouldn't find anywhere else for the prices that you're going to find right now. Um, the story here is that the family needs to sell the business. They're going to sell the property. Uh, in order to do that, their real estate agent has convinced them that uh, you're going to have to clear everything out in order to get the best possible price on the real estate. Talking about over double the cost to, on, the, on the real estate uh, if they can just show it and sell it empty versus having all of this stuff in it. And you're about to see why. I can't get into all the areas of this right now for this live stream, but we're going to walk through and I'll show you everything that I possibly can. Uh, I am I'm kind of wary of you not being able to see some stuff in some of these areas because it'll probably end up pretty dark, even if I use a flashlight to light it a little bit. Um, but we're going to go inside now. I'm going to turn the camera around off of me and uh, we'll just start walking in here and I'm going to... Uh, basically just walk in and show you, you know, there's some folks here that are already uh, making their deals, but uh, you can just see that there is tons of stuff as soon as you walk in the door. This is uh, just only part of what's available here. I'm not going to talk over these folks. They're having a nice conversation, but Travis, if you excuse me, I'm going to step past you over here. Um, going to step up upstairs first. You can see there's just stuff lined up pretty much all the way along here. And this is just the main office area. There, there is a huge warehouse that goes along with this. Um, some of the stuff that's in here is not available for sale, um, but pretty much everything electronic is available for sale. Huge piles of stuff up here. This is the area that Richard used to call his uh, his museum. Uh, had stuff that he thought he really would prefer to preserve and uh, leave for people who had uh, uh, an appreciation for these things. Here looks like an all-in-one compact, or maybe it's a compact monitor. Uh, an old QM terminal. Uh, looks like an IBM something or another. I, I don't know what some things in here are, but uh, I don't really want to talk your ear off either but I certainly don't want this to be the most boring thing that you've ever watched. Um, one of the things after I was posting about this on Facebook last night, telling people to come out here and start buying things, is that people said, you know, looks like there's nothing but a bunch of junk here. And uh, by and large, that's probably true. There's a light switch for this room somewhere, um, which doesn't work. Uh, we're in dark again. Well, uh, we'll walk back out over here. The big thing that probably everybody's going to want to see, and, and the point that I was trying to make a second ago, is uh, that, that it's impossible to see all of the things just from a few pictures. So that's part of the reason why I wanted to, to get in here and make a video and even do it live. Um, you know, people were saying, hey, there's no Apple II stuff. 
um, just because of the picture that I was I was showing. Look at that. That's that's amazing. There's uh, looks like some PS2 possibly back there. Uh, it's old televideo terminal right here. Do do do. Here's a keyboard for a TRS-80 Model 2. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Sintrex. I'm not familiar with Sintrex, but I'm sure somebody watching probably is. Um, and this is, so far, just looking like a lot of junk. But, uh, you know, how about a big box full of 8-inch floppies? Who knows what, uh, what system that's actually for? Um... Looks like they've experienced a lot of heat. It does get fairly hot up here. I can't guarantee that any of that is uh, is viable. This looks like a TI-994A monitor here. Um, hmm. What else? Lots of, lots of stuff back here. Looks like an ads terminal. Uh, an old Tandy monitor. And this is just some junk that's upstairs. There's uh, some uh, Macintosh keyboards. We'll keep walking around here. There's another thing looks like a yep, TI-994A monitor. That looks like a PEB. Um, doo -doo -doo. There's lots of old little portable TVs, like black and white TVs all over the place. It's a smart board, if anybody cares about smart boards. Um, Let's see. We'll uh, head up over here. Uh, see if we can get some lights to come on in here. Well, here we go. Bunch of stuff here. Like an old PB. BX of some sort, reel to reel tape, old hi fi. Uh, those look interesting. Who knows what a lot of this stuff is? Um, you know, I'm sure that there are folks out there who do know. Uh, if you do, be sure to put something into the comments. Gobs and gobs of ISA and PCI cards here. Looks like a lot of network cards. Uh, hey, look, a little blue my iMac. Another real real tape drive. A uh, whole bunch of little portable security monitors, which were really popular with uh, 1970s homebrew and early professional or, or commercial uh, microcomputers. And some old IBM stuff here, Dell servers. Some of the stuff isn't quite as old. Uh, how about this thing here, an effects controller for video? Uh, looks like a, a lot of video equipment in here, among other things. And uh, I'm sure that, uh, you know, this doesn't look as, uh, as interesting to most people as it probably is to some people. Um, but we'll go ahead and walk out of here and head back downstairs. I'll take you all into, oh, you can go in the tree. All right. Take y'all back down the stairs here. Hmm? I'm sorry? Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually live right now. Yeah, it's all right. All right, so let's walk back into this area. Do you need some keyboards? Uh, these are tons and tons of keyboards. Here's a bunch of stuff. How about uh, Pentium 120s, uh, 486 with 72 megs of RAM. Pentium 75, Pentium 1, 133, uh, Pentium 1, 233. Um, this one actually has login details. Uh, Pentium 120. I know that there's a lot of people that are interested in 386, 486 early Pentium PCs right now. I uh, just got gobs and gobs of that. I've heard a lot of people talking about how they wanted some VGA CRTs. Here's just a ton of those. That's not even scratching the surface of what's available here. There's uh, some more Apple for the folks who are saying that there's just not any Apple in, in the pictures that I posted. Uh, lots and lots of printers also. If you're interested in printers, this is definitely a good place to come. Now, I don't think I said it 
in uh, the intro here, but uh, this place is located at 9525 Skillman Street in Dallas, Texas. And uh, again, this is this is all going to disappear before you know it. Um, if you have any interest in anything that you've seen here, you need to figure out how to get to Dallas ASAP and pick up as much of this stuff as you can carry with you because the people who need to sell the building are going to, and I'm not even kidding, going to have a company take all of this stuff out of here and dispose of it whatever way they, they see fit. Um, sorry for the poor lighting in here. You, as you can see, the, uh, the fluorescent lights are not working that well, but there's just gobs and gobs of stuff in here. And M2 CPUs, a big stack of them right there. Um, I'm sure that there's gobs and gobs of RAM around here. More keyboards, more interface cards. You can't even get down this aisle unless you're willing to get in here and move things around. Everything that's electronic in here or related to computers in some way is most likely for sale. Um, just come bundle up everything that you want to get. Talk to Willie. He's the man running the show. He will get you whatever you need. Look at this. Dual Pentium 2 motherboard. I know there's people out there that want that. Here's a big stack of laptops. There's huge stacks of laptops here. Do you need things for your 5140 IBM convertible? Look at this. There's all kinds of IBM convertible stuff here. Do you need sidecars for them? Yep, there they are. Do you need a keyboard for one? Everybody always steals the keyboards off these things. There you go. More and more of them back over there, stuff that's new in the box. And there's even more of that out in the in the warehouse. We haven't even gone into the warehouse yet, folks. Um, if you're watching this live, feel free to post the URL for this to every Facebook group or Discord channel or Slack group or whatever you might be on uh, to spread the word because people need to get out here. This is, again, at 9525 Skillman Street in Dallas, Texas. The place is called Computer Reset. And uh, there is just tons and tons of stuff. I mean, everywhere that you go, there's more stuff everywhere. I'm not sure where the light switch is for this hallway, but uh, it goes back there quite a ways. There's multiple rooms here. They all have stuff in them. Okay, so I've shown you what's in some of the office area over here. Haven't even scratched the surface of that, I'm sure. Uh, here's another room that's just all full of stuff. This is the warehouse. This warehouse is way larger than it looks like here. You, you think you can see the back wall. That's, that's just a curve, and it goes around the corner. So let's go ahead and walk through here, and I'll just let you see what all you might be able to see. Um, you know, obviously quite a lot of this is, uh, is stuff that's been set aside for recycling, like all the stuff that's outside. Um, but uh, here you go. There's a uh, Deck for VT420 terminals, uh, all in one compact, uh, little old Asus, uh, lots and lots of stuff. Sure, there's a lot of junk here, that's for sure. But uh, you can come here, and I know this from experience, you can come here for years and climb around and look in every single one of these things out in the warehouse, which uh, again, I don't have, there isn't much lighting out here at all. I apologize for that, and I don't have my flashlight with me at the moment. But uh, you could just barely scratch the surface and not even see all the stuff that's here. Um, gosh, I really should have brought my, <laughs> my flashlight. Uh, do you need some PCATs? Do you like uh, compact desk pros? Um, do you like Bernoulli drives? You can't even hardly see it there, but there's probably 50 dual Bernoulli drives in this area down here. Uh, there are PC juniors that are new in the box. Some are in better condition than others. Uh, here is a pallet full of probably early Pentium machines. And I'm just, again, just barely showing you what's even on the surface of the place. Um, more desk pros, PS2s, um, PC compatibles, XT compatibles, AT compatibles, actual genuine PCs. These are 5150s. Um, it looks like 5170. Monitors, 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 monitors. Tons and tons of monitors. Uh, how about another iMac? 
some compact monitors, more monitors, boxes. Here's one of the things that I tell people all the time is that they, they just don't spend enough time looking in these boxes that are at the tops of things. And that's one of the things I'm going to be doing today. Look at that palette. That palette is full of what looked like IBM EGA or CGA monitors, maybe some that are knockoffs. Uh, here's another stack of 5170s and clones. Um, <laughs> how about a plotter? There's a lot of those here. Uh, here's some stuff like, uh, this is a box full of brand new PC Junior printer cards. Uh, IBM PC Junior cluster attachments. There's so much new in the box stuff here. Brand new modems for IBM PC Junior. Uh, adapter cable for the color display right there. Brand new in the box. How about easy working the writer software title? All new in the box. Brand new three button serial mice, you got it. Printers, printers, printers. More monitors, terminals. I mean, we're not even scratching the surface here yet. How about some HPPA risk stuff? Uh, more monitors. How about some uh, aftermarket Twin X uh, terminals? PC Junior monitor. There's a lot of PC Junior here. Uh, small little point of sale monitors. That's probably a paper white, about 12 inch, maybe smaller than 12 inch, 9 inch. Uh, da -da. You need point of sale drawers. They've got point of sale drawers. How about this ROM copier? <laughs> little motherboard. Looks like it's probably a 486 or something. How about a Meridian phone? PC Junior keyboard. <laughs> nice terminal keyboard. Stuff is just strewn all over the place. I mean, a uh, big part of the time that you would spend here if you came out to see uh, would be uh, just sorting through it and getting familiar with where stuff is. Because, you know, again, way up at the top of these pallet racks, there's all these uh, boxes and stuff. And I've just seen whatever those drives are or whatever that is on the corner. I've never noticed that before. It looks like it's PC Junior related. Uh, it's got a Junior style connector hanging off of it. I'll have to get a ladder out and check that out later. Uh, another stack of PCs. Just more and more. All kinds of things. I mean, you don't even know what's in half of these boxes. And some of these boxes, I mean, in quite a lot of these boxes, actually. You see this one with the blue on it here. That's an IBM box. That's full of brand new in-the-box IBM hardware or software. Uh, because one of the things that Richard did was he bought out all of IBM's old stock when they stopped selling the PC Junior and the convertible. And a lot of things that he also picked up uh, when they stopped making PS2s. And he would just send, you know, semi-trucks down to whatever facility that they were clearing all that stuff out, uh, including DirecTV. If you need some old DirecTV LMBs, they've got uh, tons and tons of those here. There's surely somebody in the world that wants those. Uh, here's a couple more laptops. Uh, IBM boxes of stuff. I mean, I, I can totally relate if you think, hey, this just looks like a big, huge pile of junk. And to a lot of people, it probably is. How about DisplayWrite 3, new in the box, version 1.1.0? Um, what else is in this box? Uh, it looks like it's all DisplayWrite 3. So multiple copies of DisplayWrite 3. New in the box. Uh, Macintosh portable rechargeable battery. I'm sure that that's bad by now. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Another PC Junior. New in the box. Uh, Sysdyne. I don't even know what's is a video disc it says, but who knows what's actually in the box. A lot of things don't have things that are actually in the box. This box just says PC Junior on it and uh, contains a bunch of FRUs. Uh, no, diskette drive support. There's a little compact portable down there. Another Apple composite monitor. Uh, that looks like a printer of some sort. You know, again, we can only scratch the surface. More compact desk pros. Uh, more clones. Looks like a bunch of HP Vectras over here. AST Premium. Premium 2, 4633. Uh, you know, a lot of people are really into the vintage PC stuff right now. Here's a huge stack of uh, compact portables. AT&T monitor. There's a terminal of some sort. Uh, more compact portables, more CRTs. How about a Mac Classic 2, a Televideo terminal. 
We haven't even gone halfway through this warehouse yet. There's another Mac. It looks like an SE30, possibly. Uh, SE FDHD. Do, do, do. More PC Junior stuff, all new in the box with a big stack of PC Juniors on it. If you like PC Juniors and you've bought things that are new, like this box full of brand new PC Junior joysticks, um, that probably came out of a box up on top of the thing here. And uh, there's probably a hundred more where that came from. How about an old data general terminal. Uh, another stack of monitors over here. Here's a big box that says power supply on it. It's IBM and it says power supply. There's three of them there. That's probably PS Junior power supplies. Uh, here's a thing that says P PC Junior products is what it says by Cyner Cinetic Software and Systems. Uh, they look like little FRUs. Uh, the can't even read what it says. This one down here says uh, PC Junior system slots, whatever that is. Uh, you PC Junior guys probably know. Here's here's uh, what looks like possibly a Junior that is kind of new in the box. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Still going on. Again, this is uh, this is all going to go away. If you see anything here, or if you know anybody that would appreciate something that is here. You should send them to Dallas to 9525 Skillman Road. Check out this old dune buggy. And it's just covered with stuff, but it's an old fiberglass dune buggy, probably from the 70s. Uh, 9525 Skillman Road. Name of the place is Computer Reset. Don't call. Bring cash. Just show up during business hours. I'm sure that Willie would probably be here on the weekends, too. Uh, look at that an old HP 226. Sadly, a lot of its keys are broken. Um, huge plotter or something over here. Another huge plotter, HP Design Jet. Uh, brand new in the box. Practical peripherals, micro buffer, print buffer. Uh, gotta watch your step around here. You never know what you're gonna have to step over. Look at this, modems. Got a zoom modem of some sort there. It looks like V32 bits and uh, Hayes V Series 9600. Uh, more laptop. Looks like a brand new in the box 14 inch monochrome Samsung monitor. PC Junior monitor, I think. Yeah, color display. Uh, how about a regular PC color display? Uh, that looks like it's opened. Who knows if that's actually what's in the box? Uh, PC Junior keyboard cards. We're getting into a dark section of the warehouse here. I could see fine, but uh, you guys are not getting enough light for the, uh, for the video, and I apologize for that. This looks like stacks and stacks of software here um, brand new ibm software ibm what does this say ibm assistant executive solutions there is a whole palette full of software here. it's probably all that same title but there's lots of that that goes on around here uh, there's another Bernoulli drive some more compact desk pros packard bell crt here's some uh, pc junior joysticks again uh, Compact spares, precision instruments, mouses, mice, uh, external hard drive of some sort, uh, another IBM uh, PS2 era luggable lunchbox style computer. Here's a uh, PC convertible 5140. Uh, some compact portables, another PC Junior kind of new in the box. Uh, pallets full of what look like new Packard Bell machines, uh, more IBM boxes, master packs of something or another. And we're still kind of moving through the warehouse here. No idea what is buried under the majority of this stuff. It's just been piled up over the last 20 plus years. Uh, more PC Junior color display boxes down here. Another PC Junior new in the box-ish. Uh, there's an Apple Monitor 3, monochrome composite monitor. More PC Junior monitors. Mm, he was really big on the PC Junior. Let's see, this is interesting. I have no idea what's here. Maybe uh, some of our Japanese-speaking viewers can translate that for us. I'm not good with kanji and kana. Uh, but there's several boxes of whatever that is here. Might have to dig into that here in a bit. 
but again, up at the top here, you can see there's just tons of stuff up on that pallet rack. Uh, looks like there's some PC Junior disk drives new in the box up there and ship cases for who knows what else. Um, boxes full of memory cards for PC convertibles. Another stack of what look like uh, AST PCs. Uh, more software. What is this? PC network program. Official IBM software. More PC Junior stuff. Thankfully, the lights open or the doors open over here, so we've got a little bit of light. Um, more pallets full of stuff, and this is just stacked and stacked and stacked. Uh, some sort of I don't know, is that an IBM rack? Kind of looks IBM-ish. Maybe it's HP-ish. There's some sort of uh, IBM uh, mainframe-ish kind of thing going on there. I'm not even sure what that is. Uh, there's some sun racks here. I know that some of the sun racks have uh, disk drives, like uh, looks like A5000 uh, storage arrays there. Um, it's like storage D1000s. Maybe that's what all of them are. Uh, but uh, there's a couple of racks of that going on. Big, huge uh, VGA, I assume, monitor up there. What is that? That's neat. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there's, there's certainly a lot of junk here. But uh, if you got an afternoon to spend and you just want to come see what all you could get, what might be interesting, um, you should probably come down here and look. The deeper you dig, the more likely you are to find something that's interesting to you. Uh, I still don't know what this thing is behind this Zenith box. It's a blue-sided IPM uh, device that has multiple bus and tag connectors inside of it. Uh, and some more IBM stuff back behind it. Ah, good grief. All of this is going to go, and uh, we're not going to be able to do anything to stop that. So if you think that you can make it down here and spend a couple of hours to just go digging through stuff and find what might be interesting to you, the prices are incredibly low, and uh, everything has to go. If it doesn't find a home, it's going to get recycled or put in landfill or whatever. Uh, more compact portables. There's a bunch of keyboards. Uh, looks like a bunch of terminal keyboards, possibly. It's a hard case, carrying case for an IBM PC Junior right there. Looks like some uh, possibly new in the box uh, Borland software of some sort back there. Paradox? Looks like it's Paradox. Uh, a lot of you, uh, you guys who collect vintage software and you like the boxes for vintage software, you, you will certainly find a lot of it out here. Uh, how about this big, huge hydraulic press? That's, uh, that's impressive. Uh, more terminal keyboards. Sure, sure. I, I hear what people are saying. It's, uh, it's a lot of junk, but uh, you know, it has been picked through quite a bit here recently. we got some uh, Radio Shack stuff here. Uh, Amdeck. A bunch of PS2 servers. Stuff is just buried everywhere, like whatever the heck this thing is. No idea. It looks like it's got a bunch of uh, disk pack drives in it. More Tandy printers. Um, but, uh, you know, I think that's, that's pretty much everything that I could show you at this point. Uh, because the lighting is poor and I just can't dig through everything. So, uh, you can see out here some of the recycling efforts that they were doing. Um, and quite sadly, you'll also notice that there are things out here like uh, this broken monitor, which probably has good parts in it, but it probably didn't need to be left out in the rain. Um, and that's that's just a regular CGA monitor, thankfully. Gobs and gobs of printers. I don't know. It's a lot of junk, but there's a lot of great stuff buried inside of it. So, uh, again, if you... Uh, if you're interested in old vintage computers and you're a serious collector and you don't mind rolling up your sleeves and getting dirty, you should certainly come out here and start looking through it. There are piles and piles of Model M keyboards here. Um, 
and uh, just plenty of PCs and, and off the wall kind of stuff. I know up here there's uh, some sort of hardened uh, military grade system of some sort that's based on an XT, uh, as well as a uh, high power degausser, which can degauss multiple nine track tapes all at the same time. Who knows what the heck is in all of these boxes at the tops of these pallet racks. Even I haven't climbed up there that far. And uh, I intend on doing that today to figure out what is up there that hasn't been seen in over 20 years and see what I can rescue from it. So I've spent about 30 minutes telling all y'all about this place. Um, if you're anywhere near Dallas, drive here as soon as possible and check it out. Um, and uh, I'll flip this back around and I'll be really backlit, but... Uh, you know, it kind of gives you some scope of, of the scale of this place as I walk through it. I'll just uh, walk around here a little bit. And you can just see that it just goes on and on and on behind me. Huge. And over here, see if we can get that. It just goes on and on. It looks like the wall is there, but again, there's a bend in that wall back there. The thing takes a takes a little dog leg, so um, it's just impossible to get the scale of this place from looking at video. Uh, so hopefully, and thanks for all y'all who have been watching. Uh, I know that that's kind of boring, but uh, I figure the 14 of you that are holding on right now uh, are diehard fans and and absolutely love what you're seeing here. Uh, and I hope that uh, as many of you as, as are interested can get, get get down here as soon as possible before all this stuff just gets thrown away. Uh, Nate, I did go upstairs. Uh, there's, there's a lot of stuff up there. I know you've seen it a million times over. Um, I couldn't get over to the, uh, I couldn't get over to the, uh, the stuff above the U-Haul site, but that's, uh, that's not as interesting as what's upstairs in the main computer reset area. Um, so anyway, yeah, 30 minutes or so of just walking around here. Uh, that's that's showing you a whole lot more than what you could have seen on the pictures that I posted on Facebook yesterday. And uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it gives you what you need to know. Um, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here because I want to start uh, pilfering stuff. <laughs> that's the wrong way to say it. But uh, I want to I want to climb up on the ladders and get up on the top of these pallet racks and see what's in some of these boxes that I've never looked in and, and just start filling up my van with stuff because... You know, if we don't take care of uh, preserving what's what's what we feel is worthwhile saving out here, like uh, I'm sure that somebody wants this enormous monitor that's right here. What is this? An old Magnavox like security monitor? Looks like it's probably about a 19 or 21 inch. I don't know. Uh, there's just tons of stuff like that around here. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk.